Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Driver 3. Black. Twisted Metal version. In the last episode, we were doing side quests and having a good time. Talking about Metallica and... Twisted Metal Black, you can't go wrong with that. Not talking about. I think Metallica should write, or should write and record an album after playing Twisted Metal Black for like a month at a time. I think that'd be pretty sweet. Man, what's your favorite ending, anyway. boss man? Like, what, what do you like most about Twisted Metal Black? <laughs> I mean, I like the other Twisted no, they want more goofy there. They not really goofy. Yeah, so this cartoony. And like two, two is really good because that's that perfect blend of cartoony and like, oh my god, this game's so like terrible yeah. in terms of like everything going on. I mean, I feel like there should be a new game. Don't think there probably will be one because the other ones seem to like it didn't wrap everything up because there's still like stories <laughs> they have to continue. Characters that are still kind of left hanging. Well, except for Dollface, Sweet Tooth, and Mr. Grimm, because I think all of them die. Right? Yeah, Sweet Tooth got buried alive. Yeah, which I mean, he deserves. Well, yeah, he and did kill a lot of people. Miss, Miss, Mr. Grimm did just basically kill him. Right, he shot himself, which is, uh, but not in, like the proper way, and more of the like. <laughs> How do you shoot yourself in the proper way? Well, just but committing suicide. But the other one, he like little, he like was teleported back in time, and like child him, child him shot like adult him. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. That doesn't make sense. Yeah, I can't really. the dolphins, so they... He kind of just end his, ended his own existence, like, not by shooting himself, but because his child self killed his past self. He's in a space-time continuum that's been screwed up completely. Um, I can't remember dolphins. Oh, yeah. No, and dolphins probably has, like, the boring one, because all she does is get hit by a, a plane or something. I might she, be thinking of Twisted Metal Block. No, no, you're right. Calypso put her on the biggest runway because she wanted to be a model, and the biggest runway was <laughs> like a runway for an airplane. Yeah, like a, yeah which is possibly. But I mean, all of them, all of them. I mean, well, throughout the first, throughout the first two games, the stories are kind of continued. But I can't remember all the Twisted Metal games. It's Twisted Metal One, Two, Three, Four, and Black, and then the new one. There might be another one. I like. I think there was one released uh, for the PSP. It was just kind of like. A, I think it was just a rehash of Black. Yeah. I think. I don't know that for sure though. Oh no no. Oh, my dumb yeah, flying. For her, for the tea party. I'm just gonna kill that mother. Yes, we are. She's a madam. So in like the fourth game, there's like a leprechaun and like clowns. We have so many things to discuss. Like a kid. Oh no, there's another game, but it's terrible. Which one? It's like one that's it's like a child one. Now I just need you to find the one for like. Children. Oh yeah, they were like toys like or all something. All the characters are children. Yeah. yeah. All the characters are children, and the vehicles are like RC cars. Dude, that's a long but time ago. Like, well, feel free to get some crumpets on the way. I don't know if that game's called. I can barely remember it. Though. Crumpets. Let's go grab those crump crumpets. And I'm down for crumpets. I'll take the high road. I have to do acquire parts and crumpets. Crumpocalypse. So who's this Ashley Burke is voicing her? We talked about this last session. I've so far had a really good time with this game, so thanks. Yeah, dude, this is what it's all about. It's not about actually doing something with your life, it's about enjoying your life. This buzzer for the snark bar. Yeah, we gotta shoot this buzzer. Yeah, but 
with their children and they, they all really got what they got. Uh, none of them like died, obviously, but... Oh, it's a kid's game. kind of like, yeah. <laughs> Twisted Metal Kids. All of them got really cool, radical endings. And there's new characters, none of them are good, but there's new characters. And Twisted Metal 4 had like really weird It had, still had like uh... Oh, I don't think we could play a Sweet Tooth. That doesn't make any sense. was running the show. Oh, it was, it was, like, he, it was had, like he, is? he had Calypso's ring, which like gives them power. And then, like, the clowns controlled. Something like that. What about Twisted Metal? Uh, last episode, if you remember it. Can't have enough Twisted Metal. Um, if you, last episode I asked you if your favorite Metallica album for each, uh, favorite Metallica album, favorite song from each album. Yeah, so I, I told Metallica. you. Oh. And I'm gonna do that with, um, Talking Heads, because they're my, one of my favorite bands. Yeah, you said you like the Talking Heads. Love the Talking Heads. Like, talking Heads, I don't think, the uh, Talking Heads, I don't know, whatever. Yeah, I don't know anything about the Talking Heads, so you, you're you about to blow my mind with whatever. So, they had a couple hits. Okay. Um, there was four members. They released their first album in 1977 and the last album in like 1990 something maybe. 1990 I think. Whatever. Yeah, I... Maybe just 1990. Uh, which is... But... So... First album, Talking Head 77. Probably my favorite song is... Uh, I can't think of it. No. Maybe Don't Worry About the Government. That's a good song. It's kind of written about... Maybe a person of political power, but the song doesn't sound like uh, David Byrne, the vocalist. His vo uh, vocals through the whole album sound kind of like not it's kind of childlike in a way. But they're really high pitched. Everything sounds great. Uh, obviously, the album is it's good. It, it's not a good. It's okay to be a good. first album. Amazing. But, like, for Talking Heads, it's okay. Shorty, you're the best. And their second album is... Uh, Fear of Music, maybe? Which is all... Kind of covering fear. All about fear and being scared, but kind of in non-traditional methods. If that makes sense? Like, the songs all sound really paranoid. Songs about, like... Princess Fluffy Butt! The Air. There's a song called Air. Which is, uh, which is like the main the person singing, literally worrying about the air around him and how it cannot be trusted. <laughs> so, and like you know, some people say not to worry about the air and stuff like that. Uh, probably my favorite song off that album is "Life After Wartime," or "Life During Wartime." Which is one of their hits, I think probably their first hit. Which is really good, it's really groovy. Which is fantastic. Uh, and I, I think their third album is, obviously I'm thinking of going in the wrong order and I'm probably going to miss an album. But then there's Remain in Light, which is released in 1980. It's probably known as, some people love it, some people consider it the best Talking Heads album. Or the best album in general. And it's, they use loops. They didn't like record music for it. They, they okay, so they pre recorded music for it. And then they looped it. You are looking. <laughs> so, uh, probably my favorite song is The Great Curve. Because Once in a Lifetime, which is probably their biggest hit, or maybe their second biggest hit. Uh, now, to invite the. Yes, because, uh,. Uh, so, that, uh, The Great Curve, my favorite song off of Man in Light, 
kind of all using loops, which was great. Like I said from before, and just probably my favorite song, one of my favorite songs by the Talking Heads. The Talking Heads. And then I can't really think of. And then there's uh, little creatures and speaking in tongues. I confuse those two albums since I really think of them as. And then there's True Stories, those three albums. I can't really think, uh, True Story is probably Wild Wild Life, my favorite song off that. Uh, when True Story was adapted into a movie made by David Byrne, and I just realized you haven't been talking at all, like, this whole time. I've been listening, man, keep going. Flesh stick. Oh, we got it. Flesh, don't kill flesh stick. Shut up! I am great. Yeah, I, I don't know. I could maybe I could have a normal conversation with you about this, but I can't. I'm kind of on the spot right now, or I feel on the spot right you're now. You're doing fine. I mean, it's it's kind of a like you're obviously passionate about this band, and that's what's most important. I can't really think of anything right now. God, uh, your story is made into a movie. David Byrne got a little bit crazy because David Byrne's a really weird, eccentric guy. I can't really think about the. I can't think about the. I just okay. Last album, speaking in tongues and speaking in tongues and little creatures. Obviously, I confuse those albums, so I can't really say, "Hey, this is my favorite song." But the last album. Uh, Naked, which is, I think, underrated. Uh, I think it's underrated. Probably one of their best albums, or their... Probably their second best, their best after A Man in Light. But, it sounds really weird. It kind of doesn't sound like Talking Heads at all. We failed the whatever. Yeah, well, it's okay. We can just try it again. Oh, um, no, we're being followed right now. Sax and Violins was my favorite song off that. Because I think it's like the last song they recorded. And it's a, it's a, oh, it's hard to explain why I like it. So, it's hard to explain why I like things. Anything for that matter. Just music in general. Or anything. Party and the guest of honor is missing. You know? No, no. But I mean, obviously, I just spent like ten minutes or five minutes talking about music. Thirteen minutes. I'm like thirteen minutes. <laughs> Even better. Fnastic, the guest of honor. You just lure him back to my abode, and I'll do the rest. Oh, we had to lure him back. We didn't need to shoot him. Oh, okay. That's what I said. So don't hurt him. Just like hit him once. He, he was chasing me just fine. Why do you leave? You goof. Get over here. I had to punch him. I did like a, a fifth of himself. I'm kind of just walking. Like he's not yelling. Calm like, down. I'm, I'm walking and letting that hit me. To get him. What? Let him hit you. Let him hit you. Come on, princess. No! Shoot him. I can't. I'll, I'll, I'll kill him. That's a really hard quest. Dude, at least you don't have to drag him across Pandora. Yeah, but the AI, or more of everything in this game is slightly broken. We got it. Oh, right. Oh, my God. Yeah. He's in that tunnel. <laughs> and that tunnel leads out here? No? It looks like oh, it. Oh, no. His uh, tunnel. I'm gonna give him my reward for the last quest. 
Get Whoa, them. a thousand. Th oh, that's a rocket launcher. Time for the party! Let's You're party. Gonna be the waiter. Hit Mr. Sparks over there to bring in Mr. Flesh Stick. Right here. <laughs> hey! I bet your mommy and daddy screamed as they died. When you're ready to start the party, please smack Mr. Fleshstick yeah! and his- Oh my god, now we have to defend uh, this place. Inviting Fleshstick's friends too. Make sure they don't get too rowdy! What does it say here? So I'm going to need to blow up your Who's whatever Princess Fluffy butt. Sir, Reginald, oh, yeah. Hey, um, and we gotta keep these guys coming. And there's psychos here, Sam. Oh! I see that. Enough, before, enough talking about music. No, no, there's no such thing as too I, much. I, you know, I don't know, I just couldn't think of everything. I bet you. If, like, if you gave me all their albums and I could see all the songs on them, I'd be like that song. The sound of Flushstick's friends, they are being I'm a big Ramones fan myself, as much as I like, like Metallica and Megadeth and stuff, Ramones is probably one of my favorite yeah. bands. But, you know, I, I heard something, so Henry Rollins does like, talking, not albums, okay. more of just talking things, Talk, like, sent, uh, it's hard to explain, but I, I listened to one, and he was talking about his experience going to a Ramones concert, and it was like packed in. They played like three albums of stuff. <laughs> a set list was like another album of stuff. Yeah. Like they played a ton of music. Yeah, that's amazing. I heard some salacious rumors. I think this was early remote days too. So. Oh, they're not really around anymore. Joey's dead. Uh, Johnny's dead. Petey's dead. I don't like the founding Most members. They're coming from like the ocean. It is a bit cold for this time of year. What do you do think? Do they come Mr. from a land down under? I mean, my music taste. I'm, I have a real eclectic music taste, especially for my age. I think so. You're talking about albums that came out in the 80s and 70s. That was good. I'm doing good. I'm just a little tired. I'm alright. I swear we're not like having a full on conversation like before. We are having a full on conversation. Whoa! The big man. I think we can get him. I must say, darling, you got to yourself. Die screaming! I'm ready to reload. So you just, the excitement's not there, you know? It doesn't sound like the excitement's there. I think it is. It's doing fine. We are doing fine. If I could just reload my guns in time. 
best album. Oh yeah, more songs about buildings and food. That's the album I forgot. Oh, no. I don't really like that album that much. Okay, okay. <laughs> One of the beginning albums. No more. <laughs> talk about talking heads though, but... Well, that was quite an enjoyable She's gonna end up killing this guy. Garcon, a word. Ah, yeah. oh, the hour grows late. I'm afraid Mr. Flushstick must bid us adieu. I remember you, kid! You should be dead! What if... How is she Flushstick? gonna kill him? Mr. Sparks, what do you... Mr. Sparks. No! I'm sorry I sold out your family! I'm sorry! <laughs> Wow. Oh, he literally just, like, evaporated. That's the best two party. Oh, yeah. I'm and glad we could uh, help her. Did you, did you turn that in? Yeah. Yeah, I got it. Okay, well, I'm going to... We have... Well, do you want to end the episode here? We have one more side quest. No! Back to the story. We keep mission. going. Okay, well, let me sell my guns and then we make it. We can make it to the next episode. Sounds good, man. Back to the daily grind. Another day in Borderlands. Oh, I got a Gunzerker skin. Three shields. I'm now at eleven thousand dollars. Eleven thousand dollars. Anyway. Lilith, baby girl. Using the stuff themselves, which means these guys are sending their iridium somewhere. Kill them all and find out where. Oh, kill them all. That's Metallica. Metallica. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Welcome back to Metallica. Let's play Metallica. Play Metallica Black album. You got it. Rollins, especially the Sandra Rollins. <laughs> Talking Heads is their opener. Eating pizza. That's so far like the whole combination of everything we've talked about over the course of these episodes. Of course. So anyway, it's uh planet members. I don't know how you can do this time. You, you do these long episodes. These really long episodes, uh no. And you just, uh, you it's just by yourself, too. I mean, you do, I guess I think you could do shorter episodes than what we're doing now. Well, normally I, I don't. So. Normally it's, like, the same amount of everything. <laughs> oh, well, before you used to do, like, 15-minute episodes, right? Yeah, a long time ago. Where was I? Oh, you just kind of roll with it, you know. You, uh, you get used to talking to yourself. And... Fuck, I can go down here. Where do we get over there? I probably gotta go up. I'm thinking I'm gonna go up. Positive reinforcements with summon bandit reinforcements. Oh, that's not good. I just summoned some rain. Oh, man. I'm Dude. pretty sure Whoa. we're gonna go up. Whoa! There's such a iridium. Purple stuff. Purple stuff? <laughs> You get up there so fast. I have to climb this conveyor belt. Well, that's half what I did. I climbed the conveyor belt. Quiet! Oh, the guy. He's just not dying. When's the last time we. So the last time we fought a, a boss was like two episodes ago. This guy's only level 15, too. And now you will fall. Sucks to be corrupt. Welcome to die. I am error. Fornicate, close your ears, boss man. You don't need to hear that. Whatever. <laughs> 
I guarantee you right there. Say it after my drive. Go check with Tina. She's got a job for you. Oh, Tina's got a job for us. Oh, okay. Good old Tina. I Go to Tiny Tina. Yeah. Tiny Tina's on the scene. On the scene. John Cena. <laughs> Da 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 da. Da 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 da. What's your maximum health? Yeah. What? Your maximum health. Five thousand. It's over nine thousand. Like what actually is it? I think it's about three hundred or four hundred. What? I think it maybe four hundred. On seven hundred. Oh yeah. No. No wonder. It's like. Have those increased health things. Well, you're and also you uh, whatever you Give are. Shield that does Whoa. Sounds like a job for a high right? I'm down. Am I right? I'm down. Those miners you fought earlier were paid cash in exchange for iridium. Get to the station where their payroll train comes in, and we'll have ourselves a good old-fashioned train robbery. Good old fa <laughs> just like John Marston. Are you excited about Red Dead Redemption 2? Just like John Cena. John Cena. <laughs> da, 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 da. I was never a huge fan of John Cena. I mean, he's cool, but I was, I was old school Attitude Era, me personally. I was around I when Stone Cold Steve Austin was the best thing in the world. Bandits used this station to still is. Yeah, I mean, I think so, but I mean, like he's not wrestling anymore. But I was, I was there when he was wrestling. What is he doing now? Oh, he's, got, he's got that TV show, I think. This is a TV show? Yeah. Do the TV show. That's gonna explode. Big mistake. I don't mind, I'm dead anyway. I should kill a couple people, but. Good. That'll leave the train nowhere to go. Now all you gotta do is signal Hyperion and make like you're ready to sell some iridium. Let's do it. Let's, let's make like a tree and get out of here. Make like a tree and just play with Hey, lines, purple so. stuff. Trade Have you noticed that our, uh... <laughs> we're doing pretty good <laughs> compared to the last couple of times. Oh yeah, last time we'd, if this was like last session, we'd be dead. We would, we would not be alive right now. That corrosion damage. Oh, uh oh, trains here. Trains here, hello train. Is Ozzy up, is Ozzy here? Let's rob it. I think it's a crazy train. Whoa. Whoa. Alright. Oh, and then you load the, the TNT, that's... The rest of Tina's explosives oh, on those safes and That's awesome. That is pretty cool. Now what? We gotta get out of here, right? No, the train has nowhere to go. How do you how do you detonate the safe? Man? Um. Oh, they're just gonna oh. manually blow. Oh my Whoa. god. That is a ton of money. Let there be money. Dispatching troops to payroll train number six two seven. No, we gotta get out of here. Uh, we were done the minute we heard they were coming. What is that? Auto can Oh yeah, we're out of here. We're gone. <laughs> Sorry, this is the essence of Borderlands. Snatch, grab, and take it. What's our time on? Or smash grab. Hey, not snatch grab. <laughs> Time is 28 minutes. So really perfect. Everything's wrapped up in a neat little bow. Just We're like it was Christmas. Did you know? Fourth done with. Did you know Motley Crue was Dunlop. almost named Christmas? <laughs> Tiny Tina's workshop. This is like a Christmas themed place. It looks like Christmas. When here. you made it rain, I was like, damn. Yeah. Nah, I'm good. Yeah, that's, that's what I was thinking, honey. I was like, oh my gosh, you're so pretty. I'm just, I don't understand how, wow. Got a lot of how old is she? Like, 13? That doesn't matter. Well, 13, no. Let's go before things get more awkward. <laughs> Hang out with me. Hey, the token cubemen. gesture. What did it get, 20 tokens? How do I look? Dude, I've gotten, like, actually, like, 15 achievements. Oh, uh, we're pretty good. Like, 
This game is fun. We gotta go. I mean, especially since we probably have someone to do it with. Yeah, that has a lot to do with it. If you play this game, ladies, or if we somehow influence you to play this game, make sure you do it with somebody that you can tolerate. Um, don't go there, maybe. Update to Microsoft Essentials. No, ex no, thank you. I don't want to shut my computer down. I mean, uh, I mean, Mordecai still lives. Like, still lives here. Right, where are we going? Can we teleport somewhere? We have to actually get. We have to actually go. Ah, uh, walking. Well, that's what. Why do you think I was walking towards that way? I mean, I also, was, but I thought maybe I missed a teleport or something. The fridge is also in, like, an arena. Oh. You, like, um, so uh. there's an achievement to go five rounds. Uh. So, do you want to do that? Yeah. try that when we get there? This is a no-death, every achievement run. Of course we're going to do it. I mean, I think there's an achievement that said went five rounds, which is go five rounds. It don't matter. We're going we're to do it nonetheless, homie. At least we're going to try. Oh, yeah, six word, rounds. Dude. Plus, we can also try it like the last, the second to last episode. Or we can just do it right now. Yeah. No, but if we fail, if we, we, we won't. We could, we could do it right now. We could, we could do it. We could do it right now. After I sell my ammo. Healing overburdened by money. Okay, I'm almost level 18. I also have like twenty thousand uh, dollars. This pistol is actually stronger do, than mine. You're gonna, you're gonna do your outro. You're done. I will as soon as I figure out what, what I'm gonna do here. <laughs> I'll be waiting. Okay, this pistol okay, is well, stronger I'll be back. than my gun. I'll be back. Peace to everybody watching. Yeah. Um, Sam's gonna do his outro and then wait a couple minutes. So I'll be back. Philip, what's up, man? Um, I guess I'm gonna sell this. I guess. I guess I'm gonna sell it. I'm gonna put this as my main. Or well, yeah, my main. Better be good. They're all suck, dude. If this. If it sucks, man. Oh my Let god. Let me know if anything catches your eye. Hmm. Yo, wife done. Ooh. I'm kidding. No, she didn't. So I got two rocket launchers. Um. I guess I'll just sell that one. That's the thing, you know. You got to keep. A Ooh, exp. Oh, dude, XP. Are you kidding me? See, I always hate things that are that are like that. That. Uh, like, oh well, boost capacity. Capacity of what? Oh, Vic. Why do we have? Why is that equipped? I thought like, when I equipped that, I was thinking like, like. <sighs> That's always a, a hard decision in video games for me. Is like, deciding between something that could help me play the game and something that's going to get me to a better place faster. But anyway, I think we're pretty good to go. I try to keep a rocket launcher around because the only way we beat one of the boss battles was having that. And I want to keep a fire weapon because there was like three missions that said, oh, you got a fire weapon. Anyway, what's the... I guess I'll sell this. I don't really need it. Alright. I'll keep, keep the rest. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. Keep it real. We're going to start the next episode. Let's keep it real and peace. Peace. <laughs>